Welcome to the session. In this session, we will understand the functionality of rental management module in Udo. Let's start with rental product. Under sales menu, you can see the menu rental. Under this, we can have rental product menu. Just click on that. I have created one rental product, water cooler. Rental co product is identified by can be rented flag which is here and we can define the rental monthly rental for the product under the rental information tab. Here you can also define the replacement value and assets comment for that particular rental product. Let's move in towards rental order. I have created one draft rental order. Here you should define all the details of that particular renter. The details includes customer, start date, initial terms, it can be 6 or 12. Billing frequency. Billing frequency is an option which is provided to you to generate the invoice on periodical basis automatically. So it can be monthly, quarterly, yearly and half yearly. Here you should define the rental product to be that is equipment serial number the rental product to be rented. Now let's confirm the rental order. When you confirm the rental one delivery order is generated and one invoice is generated against the rental order. Also, as I, as I mentioned earlier, periodical invoice generation is available. Subscription is created so that the invoice will be generated automatically as per billing period is selected on the rental. So here you can see the related subscription for that rental. So here you can see one invoice is generated for that particular rental against this rental and the next generation date of this scheduler is 1st of May that is one month after this so let's back to the rental order and also against this rental order one delivery order is generated so we can have this delivery order under warehouse So here you can see the delivery order is generated for the rental 00005 which is created just now. So let's process this delivery order. Here the lot number is also populated which is mentioned on the rental order. So let's apply and transfer these products. Once we transfer this product, it means the rental product is delivered to the customer. Now we will check the count record for the rented product. As you can see, the serial number with w WC1 with the asset status rented. We have added some fields to capture the rental information. First is rent asset status. The second thing is the total rent collected for the product and monthly rental for the product. Moving toward invoices, we can have the invoice generated against the rental here with the source document with rental number. When we validate the invoice, can get this information in font.
here you can see the monthly rental is 500 for this product that is for particular this serial number and the total rent collected is 500 now once customer receives the rental product he can replace or repair the product which is delivered to him let's start with replace functionality here we can have a replace product button on click of replace product the customer can replace his product with a new product now the customer has a product with serial number WC1 and I am replacing it with WC2 now when I click on this replace button one incoming shipment for the WC1 is created that is WC1 is coming back from customer to us and WC2 will be delivered to customer so one outgoing order is created for that WC2 so just click on replace now under warehouse under receipts you can see one incoming which is in draft which is against the rental 005 for the product let's process it now WC1 is coming back to us that is new product should be delivered to the customer so new delivery order is also generated against this 005 once we transfer this product once we process this delivery order it means the product is replaced successfully now the WC2 is going to the customer now we are done with processing of replacement product if customer had some concern with product he can also generate a repair order for that particular product we have also incorporated the, re the repair for the rental products just create one repair order for our newly created product when I select the serial number WC2 the rental order is populated automatically and when I confirm the repair order one incoming shipment is created as the WC2 will coming in So here in the repair order you can see the current location of this particular product with the serial number WC2 is partner location and the delivery location is the same. So the product will come in and it goes out once it, it gets repaired. Now we will check the functionality of cancel rental order. Now rental order 0005 is in confirmed state so when we want to close this rental we have to click on close rental once we click on this the re related scheduler for this rental is getting inactivated and the related scheduler is getting inactivated and one incoming shipment is created for the WC2 serial number So let's transfer it. This is how the functionality of rental management program works.
थैंक यू